everyone. Welcome to our Sewing for Baby field trip. I am Lisa from Pink Hollybush Designs where we talk everything sewing and smocking. And today I am taking you on a field trip to Joanne Fabric Stores. Now, I know that isn't that exciting, but I also know that many of you only have Joann's or maybe Hobby Lobby, just like I do. And so I thought with the Sewing for Baby video series, um, I would take you to Joann's and I would show you around and um, let you see what I can find there if those are your only options other than ordering things online. So. Um, we're going to go there. I'm going to look for things for the Sewing for Baby video series. I'm also going to check out um, what sort of supplies there are for smocking and heirloom, heirloom sewing. It is limited, but you will find a few goodies. So uh, let's go and let's see what we can find. So I'm in the license section um, and I'm finding some double gauze. This is a Disney double gauze that would be great for um, a swaddle blanket. I'm also finding some cotton knits. Here's a Dr. Seuss cotton knit that is 95% cotton and 5% um, spandex. So that would be great if you wanted to make a little honey or a rosebud day gown. I also found some baby Dumbo and some Lion King cotton knits. Over in the nursery section, I found a lot of double gauze, which again could be used for um, swaddle blankets. Unfortunately, I'm not finding cotton knits. So now I've gone over to the apparel fabric, and here everything is sort of mixed together, but again, I'm finding some double gauze. Um, and here are some solids this time around. So I've picked out two, um, one, this rose one, and um, this gray and blue one, which I think will be great to make um, some swaddle blankets for an upcoming video. Moving over to the knits, unfortunately everything I'm finding is polyester and I don't recommend that for baby clothes and especially not for pleating. Now over in the solid knit section, I did find some solid knits that were 60% cotton and 40% polyester, so those would be worth um, giving a try. They are interlock and you can tell that because you see the column of stitches on both sides and there's no curl on the cross grain. So again, even though I usually like a higher percentage of cotton, those would be worth um, trying to pleat. I did find some ribbing that is 97% and 96% um, cotton and it does feel quite nice. Over in the notion section, I did find some cotton darners for smocking, and I found stretch needles for sewing. Now we're over in the floss section, and um, unfortunately, my Joann's has never been great about keeping the colors well stocked, but they do have a large selection. They also carry the L'Etoile floss, which is the floss that has a sparkle in it, but is still easy to smock with. And then um, you can see there's a pretty good selection of pearl cotton as well. Also by the Plus, you will find the embroidery needles. Now, my preference for smocking is a number seven darner, but the embroidery needles will work. So we're over here by the onesies, and we have an upcoming video on how to add um, an applique embellishment to onesies. So I just wanted to show you these. Unfortunately, of course, they're not doing a good job of keeping these in stock. We just have the one size and package of the white ones, and then you have to switch to the colors. They are, however, less expensive, but not as good a quality as what I found at Hobby Lobby. And I'll link to that video so you can check that out. Our last section is the Kona cotton. Kona cotton is what I recommend for smocked inserts. It's also what I use for all the ornaments. It makes terrific um, full pleats. It pleats easily 
and it comes in a ton of colors. So if you want to use it as an insert, you can match the color of the insert to the base color of the fabric that you're using for the rest of the garment. So that's it for our field trip today. I have to admit I'm a little disappointed in what I found at Joann's. I was hoping I would find more um, printed cotton knits for you uh, and there just weren't any except for one or two in the licensed section. So um, I hope you have a, ho a Hobby Lobby near you. If you haven't checked out my video um, where I took a field trip to them, I did do much better in what I found there. So go check that one out. And um, if that's all you have, I really recommend go online, <laughs> look for those wonderful um, cotton knits, either jersey or interlock, and um, you'll be glad you did. In the meantime, happy sewing.